Hi, good evening, one and all. I am Dr. C. H. Venkat Rakesh, a consultant endocrinologist at the practicing at Sanjeevani Hospital, Vijayawada from Andhra Pradesh. So today we will be discussing about the various facts and the myths about reversal of diabetes through various ways, either it be natural or by other means. Okay, that's great, sir. Uh, sir, so starting what's, uh, off with some basic questions regarding diabetes. So, sir, uh, what are some common symptoms of diabetes and when should, when should someone seek medical attention if they experience these symptoms? Yes, that's a good question. See, many people want to know their diabetes status at some point of time in their life. Most of the times, diabetes is asymptomatic. So, that is the first point to be remembered, which means that every patient or every person should check their diabetes once his age is crossed or at some point of time, either randomly or if the symptoms appear. Why? Because in, if, if you see 100 diabetic patients, majority of them or most of them are diagnosed through random sugars or some uh, when they are checking their sugars through a common health package or when they are routinely checking their sugars when they got injured. So that is the one of the, that is the means where most of the patients are diagnosed as diabetes. Coming to symptoms per se, or what are the common symptoms or when should we check for diabetes? Particularly when the patient has crossed 40 years of age, I say each and every patient should or every person should get checked for her, his or her diabetes status. Between the ages of 18 to 30, 30 years, particularly when there is family history of diabetes, that is the, uh, one of their parents, either the mother or the father has a history of diabetes or the siblings has diabetes or when they are obese, that means BMI is more than 30 kg per meter square or for the Indian standards, it is more than crossing more than 28 kg per meter, uh, per meter square when they are obese or when there is visceral obesity, though they are lean, but the visceral obesity, there is amount of fat, particularly over the waist region, or females, when they have history of diabetes during their pregnancy, so post follow up, definitely they have to check their diabetes status. And at some point of time, when they got injured, and there's a high recording of sugars, and there is sedentary lifestyle, and their lipid profile is very bad, in such circumstances, or these are the circumstances where we have to check for diabetes, particularly when the age is less than 30 years. And after 40 years, irrespective of these risk factors, whether you have risk factors or not, at least check your diabetes status once in a while. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, we know that diabetes is a lifestyle disorder. So, so what are some lifestyle modifications or habits that can help in managing diabetes? Yes. So we, we do not call uh, diabetes as a disease. It is basically, as you said, it's a lifestyle disorder. That's a very, very important point to remember. What is the importance of stressing that it is a lifestyle disorder? Because the lifestyle modifications, what we advise when a patient is diagnosed as diabetes has to be followed through. That means throughout his uh, lifetime, uh, uh, as long as he's on control for diabetes. So it is not like one step measure or one time go. That means you just initiate your lifestyle measures and then after a period of time, your diabetes gets controlled and you stop it. Again, diabetes gets uncontrolled. So the lifestyle modifications, what we initiate at the initial step of diagnosis of diabetes is a lifetime entity that has to be followed. So coming to lifestyle modifications, basically these are the diet and the exercise and the stress-free nature. What we are, uh, what we, uh, what is the most important point that has to be observed in the present date? Right, sir. So, so that diabetes may have symptoms. It may not have symptoms. It depends from person to person, which makes it a very complicated kind of a disorder. So, so speaking of which, uh, what are the potential complications of diabetes? and how can they be prevented? So, the complications of diabetes. Diabetes is a very silent disease or I can say silent killer. But the moment it is diagnosed and as long as it is controlled, it won't touch the organ or the damage it is caused due to the organs is very minimal. But once you neglect it, it damages the organ starting from the head to the nail. Any system is damaged. But broadly speaking, they can be divided into two types of complications. One is the macrovascular complications and the microvascular complications. So macrovascular complications means these are the complications which are affecting the larger vessels. That means, for example, heart attack 
or heart disease, what we commonly see or commonly name in the uh, uh, routine uh, patient talking uh, speeches. I have suffered from heart attack, the heart disease or the peripheral vascular disease. That means the uh, blood supply to the lower limbs or the vessels is compromised and the stroke that is in the form of paralysis, what, what they suffer. These are the complications which affect the larger vessels. Coming to the other complications which affect the smaller vessels or the minor vessels, mainly it is the retinopathy, that is the eyes are affected and the neuropathy where the patient complains of loss of sensation and tingling, numbness and they don't feel any sensation, that is one thing. And the nephropathy, that means the damage to the kidney. This damage to the kidney may be in the form of various uh, stages. The patient might finally end, end in end stage renal disease uh, uh, needing dialysis, but it uh, commonly manifests in the form of uh, worsening of creatinine and uh, uh, proteinuria, that means excretion of protein in the urine. So the kidney can be damaged, eye can be damaged, the nerves can be damaged, the heart can be damaged, and the blood vessels of the lower limbs can be damaged and the skin dermatology can be damaged. So all the systems can be damaged, but the main systems which we have to concentrate at the heart, nose, brain and the kidney and eyes. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, you have, <coughs> sorry. sir, you have explained our audience in a very beautiful manner uh, about diabetes in a nutshell as to what are the symptoms, what are the complications, the lifestyle modifications. So now coming on to our topic of discussion today, reversing diabetes through natural sources. So, sir, the first question that I would like to ask is, are there any specific vitamins or minerals that are particularly beneficial for individuals looking to reverse diabetes naturally? So coming to the matter, are the diabetic patients, what uh, uh, we want to ask is, are the diabetic patients uh, suffer from 